Folks, that hot time of year is here. It's roasting. Seems like just a couple of weeks ago, we were putting out episodes where we were saying, why is it so cold? It was in the upper 50s, low 60s. But now that has all changed. We're here in mid-July and the heat is upon us. Well, at the risk of this episode being a little bit shady, we're gonna review a couple of canopies today. So stay tuned. Hey guys, before we go any further, take this moment to subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to us and helps our channel to continue to grow and to continue to flourish. We really appreciate it. Okay, we've got two canopies here at two drastically different price points. One's a little bit more than double the other one by the time you get it shipped. So we're gonna take a look at them. We've been using both of these canopies now for a few weeks. And to summarize, Christy and I love both of them. The canopy I've got on Johnny here is a Curtis canopy. On Vinny, we've got the Rhino Hide canopy. Let's start with the similarities of these canopies. Both of them are removable. You'll want to remove these canopies if you travel with a trailer. Neither of them are safe at highway speeds, or at least at my highway speeds, right? You don't want to go on the interstate with these. Your canopy might end up, well, not attached to the tractor. Both of them do talk about being safe to speeds of 50 or 60 miles per hour. I've actually had this one 50 or more yesterday. Well, no damage, but the thing is, is you won't know until it's too late. So I'm a little nervous about actually, you know, really testing them because you might just tear it to pieces. And that's why both of them are removable. We'll go through that. Both of them are quite easy to install. I didn't think it made any sense for us to show you an install video on either one because, well, there wasn't much to it. Both of these canopies attach to the ROPs. They don't drill any holes in the ROPs or otherwise affect the integrity of the rollover protection system. One other thing that's similar is both of these are available online. You can get the Rhino Hide Canopy at rhinohidecanopies.com. You can get the Curtis Canopy at artillion.com. Now that's a little bit unique, but artillion.com is the website where you can get these. Same place you get the grapples, the forks, uh, the other things that we talk about from Artillion. Um, that's where you get this canopy. Before we go into the details of each individual canopy, I, I just want to make some general statements about the engineering approach. I'm fascinated by how people choose to design different products. While both of these products are easy to install, removable, they fit many different tractors. Anything with a ROPS like this, they will fit different size ROPS. They're flexible. While all that's true of both of these canopies, they use radically different design approaches. It's fascinating how two different groups can come up with two different approaches to solving the same problem. So with that thought in mind, we'll go through each of these canopies in more detail. Which one should we start with? Maybe we'll start with the Rhino Hide. Okay, I'm sitting here under the Rhino Hide canopy. Um, one thing that we should notice is that it's a very small canopy. The dimensions, I'm not exactly sure of the dimensions, but uh, it's a much smaller cover uh, than the Curtis. But it's fine because you can mount it lower. And so we've actually found it to be very shady and, and very useful in that sense. Okay, so let's talk about the mounting. How did it mount to the ROPS? They sent me an extra mounting kit in case I want to put it on another unit. Um, and it's really a simple design. This is probably the simplest way you could engineer something like this. This is the mounting bracket right here. This is all there is to mounting to the ROPS. So you've got two pieces. You can do a two by three ROPS by, well, you just won't snug it down, a two by two ROPS. Maybe even a two by four. I don't know if that'll quite fit or not. Okay. Well, how about front and back? Well, if it's too far forward, you can turn this around backwards, right? You could mount it vertically. You may, it's, it's amazing. Now, these two holes, you'll only use one of these holes. For the other hole, you drill it yourself. That's how you get the ROPS at the angle that you want. We use the top hole that was supplied in the bracket Let's see, it's like that. We use the top hole. 
we got it at the time level, and I'll explain that in a minute. We got it level, and then we drilled the back hole. Now, ours is not level anymore. Why not? Well, after some use, this U-bolt has slipped a little bit. Now, to be honest, I don't mind it not being perfectly level. So that's why I didn't adjust it even before this episode, is because I kind of like it headed downward a little bit. It's sort of like a, a sun visor, you know, uh, on your car. It's, it's working well that way. So this is what I would consider to be the simplest mounting bracket that I could consider, okay? And you put it into the top hole. You can go any angle, forward leaning, backwards leaning, it doesn't matter. And then this bracket here goes the length of the canopy and you drill your own holes. So there are a few holes that have to be drilled, one through steel here, and a couple through the canopy material here. Okay, let's talk about removal. Um, there's two hand tighten kind of set bolts, set screws here. Now the way I've got it mounted, these handles are actually hitting the ROPs. So that's not perfect, but that was my choice of mounting, right? I could have mounted it a little bit different and avoided that. One thing the canopy could have done to have made that less of an issue would have been to have put a nut on this side as well. If they'd have put a nut on this side, I could have used the front side. I don't know if this is the best way, but it's the way I'm going to show you is that once we've got it loose, I can sit right on the tractor and go up. Now, yes, I whacked myself in the tummy, but I didn't need to. You can put it on in the same way. Right? I don't know, does it weigh? It doesn't weigh very much. It's not very heavy like that, so that's a, a way to do it. I've also put it on from around behind, but this is a suitable approach. It, it works fine. I have no complaints about how easy it is to put this canopy on or remove it. It works great. Now I found the installation time on this canopy to be a bit longer than the other canopy I reviewed. And that's not because of complexity. Again, this is a very simple mechanism. It's because it had so much flexibility that it took me a while to decide uh, the best approach for my unit. And I don't know that I consider that a bad thing. It just took a little bit longer and a little bit more thinking for me to decide how I wanted to mount it to venting. RhinoHideCanopies.com has a bunch of different options illustrated on their website. So, you know, when you get ready to mount it on your machine, you can, you can use that for ideas and, well, it'll fit pretty much anything. Rhino Hide does have a kit to make this reversible so that you can put it backwards over a backhoe. I didn't get that kit. I think it's $50 additional over the Easy Off canopy. I didn't mention earlier, I will now, there is a permanent mounted Rhino Hide canopy. It's $40 or $50 less than the Easy Off one. I can't see a reason to get that unless you're absolutely certain that you'll never want to put your tractor on a trailer. Overall, this canopy works. It's simple. It's easy enough to install. If you're interested in this canopy, you can buy it at rhinohidecanopies.com and you can get a discount. Yes, there is a TTWT discount available. Um, it's 5% discount to you, but it's a little bit unique to get. The website does not support the coupon codes. So after you place your order, you'll, you'll be charged regular price, finish the order process, and then send your order information to Rhino Hide Canopies. I believe it's mowercanopies at gmail.com. Tell them you saw it on TTWT and you'll get your 5% credit that way. So a little bit more cumbersome, but hey, 5% is 5% and it's not difficult. If you have any questions about this canopy, leave them in the comments section below. Don McCoy, he refers to himself as Canopy Don is a longtime viewer of our videos. He'll probably reply in the comments section, so put your questions there. Let's move on to the second canopy. Okay, this second canopy we're looking at is from Curtis Industries, as I stated. This canopy is, well, it's a more refined canopy. This canopy is over $500 by the time you include shipping. So, is it worth twice as much as the other canopy we've looked at? Let's investigate. I can just say, first off, I love this canopy. 
The Rhino Hide Canopy I showed you was a very simple engineering design. One piece of angle iron, one U-bolt, that was it. This is totally different. This is the opposite from a standpoint of an engineering approach. This device here is where all the magic happens. You position this device right on the top of your ROPS, and this is where you handle the different angles of ROPS. There's a U-bolt that goes in a hole here and angles at different angles to handle the different size ROPS. Okay? So a wider ROPS, you put the U-bolt like this. For a 2x2 two two ROPS, you turn it back around like this. So with this approach, as long as you have some sort of horizontal surface, usually the top of the ROPS, you can make this thing fit. I actually think this thing is genius. I think there's been a lot of thought put into this, and it actually hides all of the complexities of a universal mounting system in one component. There were no holes to drill in this piece or in the canopy itself. All you do is attach this to your ROPS, okay? Attach these brackets here to the canopy with the provided bolts and snap it on. Um, I find this to be a very well engineered design. Okay, how do we take this canopy off? Well, I can't really do it from the seat because I can't reach it. Well, that mentions one of the downsides of, I don't know if it's this canopy per se, but of the 1025R ROPS. It is so high. So the canopy is way up there. Uh, I believe the Rhino Hide will help you a little bit because with all those flexible mounting options, you might be able to get it down below the height of the ROPS. In one or two of the 1025R mounting scenarios for the Rhino Hide, they actually have the ROPS laid back. Now, I don't recommend you using the ROPS back, but you could and still use the canopy. It is that tall. But with this ROPS mounted design, you pretty much have to put it on the top of the ROPS. So let's look at removing this canopy. There are two little flipper levers here. We lift it up and lift it out. We want to set it back on. We set it back into the slots, pull it straight down and it latches. This is trivial. Okay? It goes even better than this. It's reversible without any adjustment. I'll show you. Now, it's hard for me to do this from the front because I can't hardly lift it out there. But there it is reversed in backhoe position. Maybe I should have done it this way. Yeah. Very nice. Since this is symmetrical, that's how we can do the reversing. We can put this slot in this end to mount it over the backhoe. But we'll show it forward here. Okay, and then when we bring it back down, it will automatically latch when I shut it in. Now this is a bit awkward with a three-point hitch attachment on. You'd want to use this in the reverse position with a backhoe. And if I had the backhoe platform here, this is easy, I've actually tried it. I know it's easy, but uh, even so, it's trivial to put this thing on in the reverse position. Wow, it's cooler under here, Christy. Right out here, not so cool. When I started this exercise, the first question I had to answer was, do I want a canopy at all? All the time growing up on the farm, we had open station tractors. My dad never wanted a canopy. He always, I believe, was thinking that they would be really bad in the brush, and I think they might be. If you've got a lot of low-hanging brush, it might not be good. But after having both of these canopies for a few weeks now, my opinion's changed. These things are both so easy to remove that, you know, if you have a scenario you can't use them, take them off quickly. But oh my goodness, it makes the job much more pleasant to have a little shade. So for me, the decision whether I want a canopy or not has radically reversed just since I've had these. I, I really didn't think I wanted one before. Now, let's say you've decided that you do kind of want a canopy. These two choices have a lot of similarities, but a lot of differences too. The, the Rhino Hide is the least expensive one. 
I think the mounting is a little more complex even though the engineering is simplistic. The actual top of the canopy is a lot smaller. If you want to use this on two tractors since you're drilling holes, setting the width, it's a little more complex for that. Contrast that with this one. The installation was trivial, really a 15 minute install. The on off, those two brackets and the way it just slides down in, in the slots is, is fabulous. Amazing engineering. This one's aluminum. This one is, I don't know, some sort of a poly. It's tough as nails too. Canopy Don said that he's never replaced one of these uh, with warranty in the entire time he's been doing this. He's never had one break. I believe it, it seems tough. If you have any questions on how to order these, look in the description. Artillion.com, RhinoHideCanopies.com. Either way, I'm convinced you'll be satisfied. With the Curtis Canopy at Artillion.com, you can use coupon code TTWT for a $50 discount. Now at present, that $50 discount is limited until the end of August 2019. Who knows, it may be extended, but I can't promise that at this point. So if you're interested in one of these canopies and you want that discount, I'd recommend ordering soon. The Rhino Hide, as I mentioned, you get a 5% discount, but you have to email him after the sale. So mowercanopies at gmail.com, email him after the sale with a copy of your receipt, and you can get your 5% discount there. Which one do I recommend? I, I, it's hard for me to say. I like them both. I prefer this canopy, the Curtis one, but it's a lot more expensive. So I don't know which one fits your needs the best, nor do I know which one fits your budget the best. You'll have to make that call. But overall, I came into this study not expecting to like a canopy at all, and I'm finishing loving both of them. What's better than that? Okay, thanks for watching everybody. I hope this isn't a shady episode. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. Don't be shady, no. Do be shady. Do you think I'm dealing with shady companies here?